I don't prefer it, but I mean, there's places that you have to do it because there's no crosswalk. If you make more crosswalks, it'd be better. Tanya Lawton explains how she feels about crossing the road without using a crosswalk, also known as jaywalking. Now, her comments sparked a question, so we set out to verify, is it against the law to jaywalk? Pepper Baker has the answer. Her sources, Lieutenant Scott Davis with the Bibb County Sheriff's Office, Bibb County Solicitor General Rebecca Greist, and the Governor's Office of Highway Safety Codes. Teresa Gracia was hit and killed along Eisenhower Parkway just up the street from this intersection at Log Cabin Drive. Now, as you can see, crosswalks are here, but is it illegal to cross the street without using one? Roads like Eisenhower Parkway, Mercer University Drive, and Gray Highway have long stretches between crosswalks, so people often find other places to cross the road. Jaywalking is generally crossing or entering the roadway at a point where you should not. Bibb County Solicitor General Rebecca Greist says jaywalking is the term used when someone illegally crosses the road. You have an available crosswalk at an intersection close by and you choose to cross in the middle of the road or diagonally across an intersection crosswalk, then that is jaywalking. But if you cross in an area where there aren't any crosswalks nearby, Lieutenant Scott Davis from the Bibb County Sheriff's Office says that's not jaywalking. If you're crossing anywhere other than a pedestrian crosswalk, look both ways and make sure you have enough time to safely cross that roadway. So we verified that jaywalking in an area with crosswalks nearby is against the law and you can be ticketed. If you have a first violation in two years, you have a $50 maximum fine on that first jaywalking. Um, if it's the second violation or more in a two year period, you have a $100 maximum penalty. So far this year, according to Greist, there's been just one jaywalking citation in all of Bibb County. In Bibb County, Pepper Baker, 13 WMAZ News. Lieutenant Scott Davis says even if you're crossing in an area where there are no crosswalks nearby, you should still be, you could still be cited for jaywalking if you cross in traffic or if you don't look both ways. Both Davis and Grice both say that jaywalking, that's a hard law to enforce.